Thermal and electric conductors. Look at the picture of a bulb. There are different parts in a bulb. It's the metal filament, glass bulb, support wires, wires and screw in. After observing the picture, you need to answer the following questions. Which part of the bulb are electrical conductors? All the metal parts, that is the filament, wires and the base. Which part of the lamp is not an electric conductor? The glass bulb. Why are different electrical plugs made of plastic? Plastic is not an electrical conductor. So the plastic protects you from getting an electric shock when you touch the plug. Why could your hand get burnt if you stirred hot soup with a metal spoon? Metals are good conductors of heat. So when you use a metal spoon which would conduct the heat from the soup to your hand, it could burn your hand. Why is a wooden spoon good for stirring soup cooking in a pot? Wood is not a good conductor of heat. So the wooden spoon would not get hot and burn your hand. If you have a hot vessel with any liquid or any hot substance in the vessel, you keep a wooden spoon and a metal spoon. The metal spoon will turn hot and you won't be able to touch it, whereas the wooden spoon won't be hot at all. The table shows how well some common metals conduct heat. A high value means the metal conducts heat very well. Silver has a value of 420, brass is 109, copper 400, iron 80, stainless steel is 15, aluminium is 250. List the metals in order from best conductor of heat to worst conductor of heat. Silver, copper, aluminium, brass, iron and stainless steel. It is based on the measure of how much heat it conducts based on the values. Looking at the values and the bar graph of how well the metals conduct heat, you need to draw a line graph. Why do some cooking pots have a copper bottom? That is because copper is a very good heat conductor. So it transfers the heat from the stove quickly to the food in the pot. Why do you think cooking pots are not made from silver? That is because silver is very much expensive as compared to copper. And copper is almost as good as silver in terms of heat conduction. Why are car radiators which cool the engine made from copper and brass? That's because copper and brass are good heat conductors. So they transfer the heat away from the engine quickly to stop it from overheating. Will a block of ice melt quicker in a plastic dish or a metal dish of the same size? Say why. Ice will melt quicker in a metal dish. Metal is a better conductor of heat than plastic. So heat energy is transferred more quickly through the metal to the ice. This is why we see the ice on the metal dish will melt more quickly. If you touched a metal dish that contained an ice cube and another plastic dish that contained another ice cube, which dish would feel warmer when you touch it? Say why. The plastic dish will feel warm. When you touch the metal dish, the energy from your finger is conducted quickly into the metal because metal is a very good conductor of energy. And this lowers the temperature of your hand. So the metal feels cold. But in terms of plastic, when you touch the plastic, the heat energy or the energy from your hand is conducted slowly or not conducted at all into the plastic because it's not a good thermal conductor. So your hand does not feel cool quickly and it do not feel the lower temperature. 
Class 6 is asked a question. Is graphite an electrical conductor or not? They carried out an investigation to find out. Each group tested different lengths of graphite in a circuit and measured the brightness of a lamp and circuit. On scale 0 to 5, averages of their results are shown in the table. The length of graphite is given in centimeter and the average brightness. So 10 cm has an average brightness of 1, 8 has 2, 2 is 4, 6 is 4, 4 cm is 3, and 12 cm is 0. Identify the variables in the investigation. The dependent variable is the brightness of the lamp. Independent variable is the length of the graphite. Control variables are the circuit components. Here draw a bar graph of the given data in the table. Here's a length of graphite versus average brightness of lamp given in a line graph. Why did they work on average brightness of each length of graphite tested? Because the measurement of brightness for each length of graphite could be slightly different for each group. The average takes into account all the different values measured. Describe the pattern seen in the results. The brightness of the lamp increases as the length of the graphite decreases. So, the graphite if the length is very low or less, then the brightness is high. Predict the brightness of the lamp if class 6 tested a 1 cm length graphite. Add your predicted brightness to the graph. In this question, you need to plot a brightness of 6 on the graph for a 1 cm length of graphite. What is the answer to class 6 question? Graphite is a conductor and a non-conductor of electricity. The answer depends on the length of graphite used. Longer lengths will conduct very little or no electricity.